going and I'm still getting enough flow I've got any back. Oh yeah, look at that, eh? Got one. <laughs> and just you putting a restriction in that gets rid. What are we trying to discover? Uh, we're trying to get it running today. We've had it running before briefly, but it's running quite bad. It looks like we're getting air in the fuel system. Uh, we've got a rig set up here with the fuel pump off the Sherman engine, but attached to an electric motor. So we're running that motor now for a constant flow of fuel. So we're just trying to bleed all the air up manually that way before we try and run it and then see how it runs when we've done that. So. What is it that you're adjusting there, Chris? Uh, we're just letting the air out of the fuel lines. Oh, okay. So the, this is your lead rail here going to the injectors. So we're just cracking all the injectors, making sure there's no air at the injector before we start it. Want to crack the tongue lines as well? Yep. No. Looks like one and three weren't responding very much, were they? They weren't. You get very definite response from uh, two and four were the big ones. Yeah, and even uh, one. I think this one here was. Uh, yeah, quite a bit. I wasn't getting much response. Yeah, I think that's the next step. Pull it, pull an injector. What else can it be? Yeah, I don't think it's air in the system because uh, I think the I think the the fuel knock uh, died down. Uh, yeah. When you, this one was closed. This one's, uh, it's, uh, it's not injecting, it's something wrong with it and it's not uh, atomizing. It's not atomizing and burning properly. So we just ran the engine. Uh, as you saw, we dead shorted the injectors manually with a screwdriver. When you short the injectors, you're holding them closed. Therefore, you should see a drop in the RPM. You can see the very sharp drop on cylinders two, four, five, and six. Uh, one and three were very minor. And the fuel knock you're hearing when it's idling is also going away when you open one or sorry, close one and three. So that tells us there's probably an injector issue. So we're now going to go ahead and pull the injectors on cylinder one and three and see what's going on inside. So stay tuned to keep up with the Sherman project. Uh, if you like these videos, follow us on Facebook and Instagram or tankmuseum.ca. Thanks for watching.